Hello and welcome to the Saturday Wrap for Saturday the 30th of October 2021. The last Saturday Wrap of British Summertime. Um, because tomorrow, Greenwich Mean Time. However, an extra hour in bed. A look back on the last week. Tech, beer, um, Covid, lots of different things. Anyway, starting off with the word or the phrase of the week. Budget. Yeah, budget. Uh, it was the budget this week. And, well, budgets aren't really budgets anymore. The NIE rises were announced earlier. Bits and pieces were also announced earlier. There were things flown the day before. It was all a bit, you know... And then there was the thing with beer and the containers and 30 litres instead of 20 litres. And... But here's the thing for me. Um, people were complaining that they were going to be worse off. We've just had, what was it, 18 months of furlough and the economy shut down and borrowing went through the roof. It's got to be paid back. It has to be paid back. I think I'm about 150 quid a year worse off. These things happen. Um, although I don't like paying it, I think we all probably got off a little bit lightly um, because budgets aren't really for you. And that's the thing. Anyway, um, beer's going to be cheaper, which means it's probably going to stay the same price instead of going up or might just go up anyway. Cynicism. Anyway, <clears throat> I must stop saying anyway. Oh, by the way, it is a lazy Saturday. Yeah, no contact lenses in. Um, just an old combat shirt on. Haven't shaved. Not even in the pub. Actually, the sun's out outside. It's looking really nice. I might get a chance to mow the lawn. These things are, you know... <clears throat> Okay, um, so the software of the week, well, I used to be a big Firefox user. Although, let's be honest, I still try and use it on iOS and Android, although even on an iOS it's the Safari engine underneath um, WebKit. Um, but, hmm. Um, and then the Rona started and I had a problem. A right click on the selector for files and because i've got two drives in my big pc and the second drive is a big spinning thing it goes to sleep and it would just lock up solid hadn't done it before didn't happen with any other browser uh took ages to find out how to raise a ticket and they didn't really sort it out for ages so i moved on to edge which was just becoming chromium edge which is credge and i have to be honest I like it so on all my yeah Intel devices so the uh, the laptops and the desktops they have credge and I like it a lot and I'm keeping it um, and to be honest couldn't do a Beano without it um, that's why it's my software of the week anyway so uh, let's look back at the last week um, this time last week, I was very, 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 very slowly uploading um, the Saturday wrap. Spoon's Wi-Fi in the commercial rooms, really slow. Uh, I was having problems with both um, 3 and uh, Tesco Mobile, which is O2. It didn't seem to matter where I was, it was slow. However... In the afternoon when I went looking for breweries and tap rooms, uh, which was the Newton Park a Verdant tap room, I discovered a left-handed giant tap room. Not the brew pub, the tap room. And they really, really, really had fast Wi-Fi. And if I'd only I'd known, I would have... Well, these things happen. Anyway, um, so two breweries or two tap rooms for the price of one. Left-handed giant one excellent um excellent glasses um let's i bought a glass um and they wrapped it for me and they gave me some uh, beer mats 
some beer from Dean from Lidl's, which is not bad to be perfectly honest. Um, and I managed to get it home without breaking it, and I'm really pleased. I did tip them, but I sent the confirmation email to the wrong address, so I'm not sure if they had their tip. However, if you're looking for the Verdant Newton Park tap room, it's right next door. Mind you, the Verdant Newton Park tap room, I like that. It was packed out. They had a food van outside that did chicken. It wasn't cheap, but I filled my face with that, and I had one, and then I was just... Ooh. It was very, um, and it was about 15 minutes walk, well, back to Tesco's and then back to the hotel, which wasn't a bad at all. The Sunday, well, that started with more personal, you know, private internet access, um, bug fixing and testing and whatever. TLDR, in the end, uh, uninstall, reset network settings, reboot, go back in same problem which is basically it kicks in before i've connected via the captive portal if there's an issue with it it's captive portal support um so i told them to close it and now i told them to reopen it and i'm waiting for the reply back the only problem is it doesn't happen on android what can you do anyway i was walking towards the commercial rooms alongside the river and a bug got in my eye and I couldn't get the bug out. And when I finally got the bug out, which was a creepy crawly with lots of legs that was still alive, it took the contact lens out. And then the contact lens ripped. Now, I do carry spare contact lenses, but I really wanted to wash my eye out after having that bug in it. So it was back to the hotel and then back to the commercial rooms. And, um... <sighs> and then later on in the week, with my proper... Uh, monthly contact lenses I lost one and it's one of those times where where's it gone and the trick is is to turn the lights out get a torch and it will reflect I couldn't find it anywhere luckily it was only about two weeks before I was due to change them anyway so I'm uh, slightly ahead on contact lenses and I have an opticians appointment next week so I'll order some new ones but <sighs> a lot of <sighs> The afternoon was spent, well, listening to Man United getting hammered. And then before I knew it, I was coming home. I was on the 23 minutes past eight train out of Temple Meads. And as I was crossing the bridge across the river, going to Temple Meads, there was a lady coming towards me who had a mask on and one of those lanyards with sunflowers on, which makes you exempt from wearing a mask. And she was outside wearing a mask. It's all got very confused for some people, really. Um, one thing I do do, um, which I could have done from the Temple uh, Knights Templar, where they have all the trains on there and the platforms. Um, could have done it from there, but I did it from my phone, was check which platform it was leaving from, because Temple Meads is a big station. It was five. It was five at six o'clock, it was five at seven o'clock, it was five at eight o'clock. And then they announced the train coming into Cardiff, which normally has a high number. And they said it was coming in on number three. And then they changed their mind saying it was on number five. And uh, number five was going from number three. And the whole of the platform from number five decamped over the other side. And there wasn't a great deal of time. So if I hadn't a hurried or been disabled I might not have got my train so no hats off to them mm -hmm. <laughs> oh ah right okay um there were plenty of reviews of the new m1 chips the pro and the max do I want one yes I do can I afford one no I can't uh, yeah uh, actually what I want is something light so I was thinking MacBook Air, next year's version, with maybe the M2 chip in it, a cheaper one, a faster one, really speed the video along. One thing I noticed, I had my Mac and my um, Dell Windows laptop there. The Mac is an M5, uh, sorry, an i5. The uh, Dell is an i7. The i7 really goes like stink. 
also it's got twice the memory the mac has as well so here's the thing lots of memory big processor if you're doing video even if you're doing nonsense like i do you know anyway um monday monday after going to a little and tesco turned into streaming monday and then at five o'clock six o'clock actually ios 15.1 tv os 15.1 ipad os 15.1 actually i waited until the next morning and also android 12 on my 3a upgrading everything the only thing i didn't do was um monterey I'm still on Big Sur. I might actually do that today. Um, there was an update to um, Safari 15.1, which I did do. Yeah, tons and tons and tons and tons of downloads, plus lots of streaming. You know, I do like the foundation. I can't remember the book that well, but it's not quite like the book. But excellent production values. And I started watching Invasion. I saw the second one last night. It's slow. We're still on the intro, really. But I kind of like it. But if you're expecting it to just get on with it, it doesn't. There are lots of concurrent stories. Ah, different people in different places. It's good. I think what with um star trek discovery i think's coming back and the expanse is coming back and another life is already back it's sci-fi autumn stroke winter which is good ah uh, right my hole in the front garden um i was going to take a picture and send it to western power distribution because they are responsible for cabling but that day I had a letter from them saying the electric's going off on the 10th of November we're coming to do some work just for you so that's that sorted out then they could have warned me mm, but there you go what can you do um, crypto 300 pi for mining on my phone I don't know what they're going to be worth but uh, I hope it's going to be a bit like I wish I'd bought into Bitcoin when they were nothing at all you know but what can you do uh, and of course I mentioned about my lens mm -hmm. and um, yeah then there was the budget and the cheaper beers um, which kind of made sense and all that sort of stuff and it was a politics day and I was in spoons watching bits of it and I wasn't sure, but I booked to go back to the Hereford Beer House. A new way. Uh, they don't open until 3 o'clock on a Friday, so I'm doing a half day in work in the morning. And then over spoons for lunch, and then just driving there. So I've got the Friday and the Saturday. Um, and that I'm looking forward to as well. Sitting in the corner, watching the world go by, drinking fine ales. Probably some German fine ales as well. Ah, right. The Rona. Okay. It's interesting when you read the stories, especially the Welsh ones. Uh, Mr. Drakeford has said that they haven't really had much in the way of stats about the Vax Pass for nightclubs and large sporting establishments and such. So I don't actually know if it works. I have my own opinions. And my own opinions is it doesn't work because the basic premise is wrong having two injections or maybe three nowadays is not the equivalency of turn of of resulting negative on a lateral flow test you can have the jabs you can still get it you can still pass it on uh, we were sold a bit of a pup on that one um so, but mr drakeford doesn't know whether it actually works or whether it just forces people to go around to other people's houses and have non-social distancing drinking late at night and annoy the neighbors um but he's discovered that cinemas and theaters are a big problem so from the 11th of november they have to have the vax pass and he's also said i'm giving the hospitality industry pubs and restaurants three weeks to get ready for the vax pass 
despite the fact that our figures are finally going down. Although we are number one in Britain and number four in the world. Yeah. There was a thread um, or a thread of comments on Wales Online yesterday. It went to over a thousand comments. They normally knock around about 80 odd. People are not happy. Um, basically because where's the science? No, it to be seen to be perfectly honest and that is one of the reasons apart from the fact that I had two days off and I'm just taking it easy that I am practicing a lock down Saturday could be back on it oh BBC um, new COVID rules to save Christmas partiality no doubt anyway um, Bye bye. Uh, let's see, where will this be? Uh, YouTube, Facebook, Twitter, and MeWe. Yeah, don't thirds. Bye bye.